The MC21 program's new director, Alexander Dolotovsky, was announced by CEO Andrei Boginsky during a meeting with the leaders of the Yakovlev Design Bureaus in September. Previously, Dolotovsky served as the deputy director of the regional aircraft branch, which was responsible for its development. Additionally, he will continue to serve as the deputy chief designer for civil aviation at UAC, United Aircraft Corporation. The CEO expressed optimism that Dolotovsky will introduce new standards and management culture to the MC-21 program, drawing from his experience in the development and production of the SSJ-100 aircraft. A new approach has been suggested for the MC-21 project, MC-21-210, which will be overseen by a separate director. Boginsky asserts that solutions that are both effective and sensible are necessary. Additionally, he assigned Dolotovsky the responsibility of formulating personnel proposals for the MC-21 Program Coordination Department and revitalizing the project management team within two weeks, taking into account the experimental MC-21's current status. Alexander Dolotovsky, who was born in Moscow on February 19, 1976, completed his studies at the Moscow Aviation Institute in 1998, where he focused on motion control and flight dynamics. Before his tenure as Deputy Director for Development at JSC GSS, one of the largest machine-building companies in the Khabarovsk territory in 2003, he was employed as an engineer at the MiG Aviation Industrial Complex from 1998 to 2003. His professional trajectory encompasses a transition from the aerodynamics department to a critical role at regional aircraft, a division of PJSC Yakovlev. In a recent interview for the Aviation News Program on the Notes on Air Production Telegram channel, Dolotovsky delineated the key events that are expected to occur in 2025. These events include the completion of the transition to domestic components and the launch of the aircraft for commercial operation. The primary objectives of the MC-21 program are to complete certification test flights for imported component replacements and to continue the development of a lower-capacity aircraft, the MC-21-2 and 10. Furthermore, he underscored the necessity of guaranteeing the uninterrupted and consistent serial production of MC-21-310 aircraft for the transportation of passengers and cargo on significant routes. Dolotovsky underscored the importance of a deliberate approach to the examination of the present circumstances and the identification of challenges that must be surmounted. Additionally, he advocated for steady, step-by-step -step progress. The program entails coordination at every stage, from supplier relations and production preparation to documentation and certification. The product's life cycle support is a critical phase and substantial progress has been made. This should be capitalized on to achieve the program's objectives. As per Dolotovsky, the organization's primary objective is to develop and manufacture aircraft. Although the coordination of individual processes is crucial, it is insufficient to guarantee overall success. Systematic and transparent planning is a critical instrument for accomplishing this. This approach is currently implemented in our work processes, and we are committed to enhancing it by making consistent modifications to the program's detailed plans across all company divisions within the allocated budget for the remaining months of 2024 and 2025. The subsequent plans for 2026-2027 will be as follows. We can only accomplish our objectives on time by adhering to a unified, logically grounded plan. It's like assembling an aircraft. Until all parts are in place, it won't fly, Dolotovsky said. His experience with the Superjet 100 confirms that management principles and life cycle stages in aviation programs are significantly similar, despite the fact that he was not directly involved in the MC-21 program. The technical analysis and experience acquired from the Superjet 100 project will be integrated with the expertise developed on the MC-21. This is the concept of a unified engineering center. The key to success is collaboration and a collective approach. Dolotovsky pledged to strengthen the organization's structure and facilitate the success of both initiatives. He is certain that the MC-21 is an ambitious undertaking that necessitates precise planning, and he is confident in the support of his team. Our current priority is to successfully complete the MC-21 certification tests, begin serial deliveries as scheduled, 
and launch R&D for the MC-21-210. Dolotovsky noted that this path was repeatedly traveled during the Superjet program, he said. Now, do you think the management is being changed too often for the MC-21 project? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.